Hi, today I am going to talk about the leprosy that is Hansen's disease. Introduction Mycobacterium leprae and Mycobacterium lepromatosus, which is nothing but the obligate intracellular bacteria, which is discovered in 2008, is the causative organisms. Initially, the only Mycobacterium leprae is said to be the causative organism, and since in, in the recent advances, it is also known as Mycobacterium lepromatosus, also the causative organism for the leprosy, which is said to be the acid fast bacilli. Cause, however, remained unknown until 1873 when Dr. Gerhard Armour Hansen of Norway identified Mycobacterium leprae as the bacteria responsible for the disease. Coming to the transmission, infected person's nasal secretions and skin lesions are the prime mode of transmission of the disease. And apart from this, it is also said that a contact with the armadillos, that is nothing but the nine-banded armadillo, is the another way of the transmission. The risk factors are nothing but the close contact with the infected person and age between 5 to 15 and above 30. This is the age group where the commonly people will get affected with the leprosy. Genetics NOD2 variant. So those people are the risk factors. And immunocompromised peoples, the peoples who are suffering from the long-term diabetes and uh, HIV infections, etc., there comes under the risk factor. Pathogenesis invade through the epithelium and into the peripheral nerve. Obligate intracellular. Obligate means which requires a living cell for its completion of the life cycle. So that is the obligate intracellular parasite that lives within the macrophages. Slow growing organism, hence the incubation period is too long, that is approximately a few weeks to few years. So it grows faster in the temperature where it is less than 33 degrees Celsius. Hence it usually go in the cooler area body parts like skin, eyes, nose, respiratory system. Coming into the pack, there are two poles of classification that is the tubercular pole and another the lepromatous pole. When the host is having good immunity, those people will come under the tubercular pole and the people who are having very poor immunity, those people come under the lepromatous pole. And in between there are some borderline classification. The WHO has classified tubercular as the possibiciliary uh, possib and the lepromatous as the multibiciliary. In case of possibiciliary, hypoaesthetic and the hypopigmented lesions are seen and well defined and dry lesions are seen. Enlarged peripheral nerves and the neurogenic pain will be seen in the possibiciliary. In case of multibiciliary, that is WHO classification or lepromatous leprosy, six or more symmetrical lesions are seen. So, this is a criteria to differentiate between the tubercular, sorry, passivicillary and multibicillary. In case of possibiciliary, the serological test comes negative and the lesions are less than 5 and the uh, nerve thickening is seen. Where in case of multibicillary, the lesions are more, host immunity is less. So, in case of uh, multibicillary, that is lepromatous leprosis, uh, leprosy, so leonine facial, the facial nodules and the loss of the eyebrow and uh, thickened ear pinna. So, these are the character features of leonine facialis. Nerve involvement occurs later in the presentation. So, borderline leprosy. So, borderline leprosy which comes in between the tuberculoid and lepromatous is a mixed presentation.
One is the tuberculite where the host has the good immunity and lepromatous where the host has the uh, poor immunity. Coming to the a detailed classification of the red leg and uh, Joplin classification which is which is based on the histopathological classi presentation which is uh, uh, discovered or presented in the 1960. See, as I told in the coming to the classification, uh, as I told, there are two poles. That is, one is the tuberculoid Hansen's disease, and next to that is the uh, borderline tuberculoid Hansen and borderline borderline, that is mid borderline Hansen disease, and borderline lepromatous, that is BL, and then comes into the lepromatous Hansen disease. We'll try to what is the basic uh, differentiation, how we can differentiate. See, tuberculoid Hansen disease. Few flat lesions are seen, whereas in case of borderline tuberculoid Hansen disease, that is BT, see tuberculoid, borderline tuberculoid, borderline borderline, and borderline lepromatous and lepromatous. So, this is the Ridley Joplin classification. In the borderline tuberculoid, so satellite lesions are seen. This is the characteristic features of the borderline see only a flat lesions are seen in the tuberculoid and uh, in the lesion just surrounding the lesion small small lesions are seen those are called as satellite lesions so that is a characteristic features of the borderline tuberculoid hansen disease coming to the mid borderline or borderline borderline class hansen's disease where inverted saucer lesions are seen inverted saucer lesions are seen whereas in case of borderline lepromatous conditions bilateral symmetrical lesions are seen whereas in the lepromatous lesions so where there is a limb weakness or disfigurement has happened so a diffuse symmetrical lesions are seen so hence a leonine facei is the is uh, commonly seen in the lepromatous Hansen disease and uh, another classification and just I forgot to tell you here so that is uh, indeterminate lesions Hansen disease which comes under the Indian method of classification indeterminate Hansen disease see coming to the other manifestations of the Hansen disease there is a neuropathy sensory loss and uh, which may result in the amputation the first nerve which involves in the body that is the ulnar nerve and apart from that the next nerve which is involved that is the posterior tibial nerve and the first sensation which is lodged, lost that is the sensation to the temperature especially for the cold temperature the first sensation what the person loses uh, who is suffering from Hansen disease that is for the temperature and in particularly for the cold temperature ophthalmic injury that is weakness in the eye muscles because as i told usually these organisms go grow in the colder atmosphere so so weakness in the eye muscles dry eye corneal abrasions which are the presentations in the ophthalmic injury immunological reaction whenever you start an uh, treatment we may come across the some immunological uh, reaction that is type 1 in which we can see a hypersensitivity uh, reaction and type 2 uh, that is a hypersensitivity reaction 4 and uh, in type 2 hypersensitivity reaction 3 are commonly seen and other immunological reactions are fatigue fever and arthritis and neuritis and aritis are the same uh, commonest features Coming to the diagnosis, biopsy, acid fast bacilli and the polymerase chain reaction and uh, split skin smear. The common site for the split skin smear is the ear lesions, ear pinnal lesions where a small slit is taken and uh, is sent for the serology. In split skin smear, we suppose not to get the blood, so we should get the serum, morphological index or else biochemistrical index in the morphological so we can study the living and uh, living bacteria in the biochemistry we can study the living as well as the 
dead bacteria so morphological index is uh, commonly used for the research purpose coming to the treatment part so single lesion that is posubiciliary a single dose of prefumcillin ofloxin and uh, minocycline or else you can go for dapsona daily and rifampicin monthly for the 6 months and for the multibiciliary dapsona, rifampicin and clofazimine. So this is for 12 months. Nowadays uh, for posibiciliary and multibiciliary treatment remains same. I repeat for, for posibiciliary and multibiciliary treatment remain same that is dapsona rifampicin and clofazimine so for 6 months for the posibiciliary and 12 months for the multibiciliary treatment remain same except the duration duration is uh, 3 6 months for posibiciliary and 12 months for multibiciliary so three drug regimen for posibiciliary three drug regimen for multibiciliary mdt khao kusht mitao posibiciliary in the bracket ET that is tuberculide and borderline tuberculide and indeterminate so they have advised the uh, Dapsona rifampicin and the multibiciliary that is uh, uh, lepromatous borderline lepromatous and borderline borderline lepromatous so borderline borderline uh, Hansen so three drug regimen this is about the Hansen's disease in brief. If this video has become really helpful for you, then you can support the video for by giving the financial support or by liking the video or forwarding the video to the others. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.